Thinking, Processing and Reasoning. This is a summary of the Sci246 course, Cognitive Psychology from Macquarie University, and this video is made by me. Thinking, Processing. Judgment is defined as deciding the probability of an event occurring, and it's often using incomplete information. Thus, this heavily depends on accuracy. Decision Making. This is defined as selecting options from many possibilities, and it depends on consequences or the importance of the decision. In terms of thinking processes, there is the dual process theory which states that thinking is characterized by actions of two different systems. These include type 1, which is a fast, automatic, unconscious, implicit, effortless, context-dependent and runs in parallel. And there are type 2, which is slow, controlled, conscious, effortful and it demands working memory. Heuristics. These are rule of thumb cognitive shortcuts, which are similar to type 1 processes, according to Kahneman and Tversky in 1974. Representative Heuristics are when deciding someone or thing belongs to a certain category based on its similarity. Bayer's theorem assesses the probability of two hypotheses being correct and it depends on a multiplicative likelihood ratio. Base rates are when individuals take in causal relevant knowledge but they tend to not attend to base information or just information about other stuff that they have become disinhibited from, that they have habituated from. Conjunction fallacy. This is where the information given is representative of sets, though this may not have any relation. Denae's 2006 found that increasing demands of tasks reduce task performance, which implied the prevalence of increased cognitive demand. Availability heuristics. This is when individuals make decisions because something comes quickly to mind. Effect heuristics. This evokes emotion and it may manipulate an individual's judgment. There are also recognition heuristics, which is when individuals recognize something and they give more effort and detail into that thing that they recognize as opposed to the thing that they don't recognize. Then obviously they won't give detail into it. Normative decision theory states or postulates expected utility theory, which is where individuals choose between the likelihood of two events occurring by contrasting the expected utility values uh, relative to the individual or outcome. The problem with this is that most don't maximize utility. Descriptive decision theory. This states that decisions depend on context, interaction, and environmental setting. Prospect theory, which was proposed by Kahneman and Tversky, postulates that decisions based on risk probability are measured by potential value of losses or gains as opposed to consequences. So as opposed to the uh, prior theory, as opposed to normative decision theory. Reference points are current states, in which individuals use probability weighting. Framing effect. This influences how decisions are made due to it being influenced by particular situational aspects and thus this influences how the problem is worded and how it is solved. Sunk cost effect. In decision making, individuals often have invested resources in course even after the decision has proved unsuccessful. They've already placed effort into this and probably will continue to place more effort and resources until it yields a positive outcome. Multi-attribute utility theory. This is a complex decision making process in which individuals identify attributes, weigh them, list considerations, and then rate each option then select. It functions based on bounded rationality, in which the decision is bounded by the environment or cognitive constraints, and individuals must engage in satisficing, where they use minimum required decision-making processes. There is also the elimination of aspects, in which individuals eliminate options by considering relevant attributes one at a time. Examples of expertise reasoning. This includes naturalistic decision making or NDM, which is intuitive judgment or heuristics that are used by experts. Recognition prime decision model or RPD, 
are used by fire commanders or those who decide what firefighters should do. Recognition prime decisions are used by firefighters who learn from their experiences to form patterns and these patterns hopefully become automatized, become automatic as to reduce cognitive load when in a high pressure or unexpected situation. Thus this pattern then relies on intuition and analytic judgment. Unconscious thought theory. Unconscious thinking is greater and more effective than conscious thought processes. It has less constraint and is able to integrate lots of information together and it may also be related to the amount of sleep one receives. Reasoning. This is according to Denae's et al. 2005. Deductive reasoning is defined as reasoning from general to specific and it is valid even if it is untrue since it follows logical premises. There is a form of conditional reasoning in deductive reasoning whereby it is based on propositional logic where it states if and then then something happens. So if car moves left, then it does not move right. It's logical. Denae's et al. 2005 gave people counter examples and it was found that these counter examples affected valid argumentation, thus impacting the acceptance rates of the proposition. Inductive reasoning, on the other hand, as opposed to deductive reasoning, is from specific to general, whereby conclusions are made from inductively valid arguments and it is based on probability as opposed to following premises. It allows for conclusions to be false, however. So an example of inductive reasoning is using statistics, as in having a sample and then trying to use that to generalize to the population. Belief bias effect. This is defined as the tendency to accept invalid but believable conclusions and rejecting valid, unbelievable ones. Watson selection task. This got participants to select cards and were based on turning to prove whether the rule is correct or not. Individuals, however, are only accurate 5-10% to 10 of the time. Matching biases. This is choosing, for example, A and 4 because it's what the rule states, as in the rule being there is one letter and one number present in the four cards. It was found, however, that context increases accuracy because in reality, individuals do not make decisions on arbitrary letters and numbers, but on other things. Thus, context is key. Syllogistic reasoning. This is where there are two premises followed by a conclusion. It is easy to solve when using a Venn diagram since individuals use these are able to see how the quantifiers work, such as for example as all, some, no or not. Mental models are the creation of models of possibility where each capture what is common to different ways the possibility could occur. Heuristic analytic model was proposed by Evans 2006 and it is a model that relies on hypothetical thinking where single models are constructed, often called a singularity, then assessed on the relevance after which satisficing occurs. Logical intuitive model. Denae's 2012 proposed this model, which stated that there was rapid intuitive logic that ran parallel to a heuristic. And there's also the free stage model, in which it is a model where three stages of processes occur, which include intuitions, decoupling, and rationalizing. The brain on rightness and reason. Feelings of rightness, according to Thompson in 2011, were high for quick decisions, but were low when individuals changed their decisions. The brain system in reasoning. Prado et al. 2011 conducted a meta-analysis of 28 neuroimaging studies and found that rational reasoning activated the Pareto cortex of both hemispheres, which was in fact in charge of spatial processing. Categorical reasoning activated the left inferior frontal gyrus, which affected rules-based processing, and propositional reasoning was found to activate the left precentral gyrus, which controlled for attention and motor activities, motor skills. So from formal deductive to informal logic. Informal logic was said to be the new paradigm according to Evans 2012, whereby it is a shift from formal deductive logic to the informal. It is a shift towards more inductive reasoning. Normative reasoning is defined as 
whether something is correct based on how close it is to the norm. So think statistics again, another good example, as it is close to the norm, to normality. Instrumental rationality. This is where a person is rational if their informal reasoning achieves their goals. So whether this rationality is right or wrong is dependent upon whether this reasoning achieves their goals, even if in reality it probably is not right or wrong. Insight is said to occur in the right hemisphere. The right hemisphere is said to be associated with insight and it is where individuals experience sudden realization of a solution. Problem solving. This is the purposeful use of controlled conscious processes to come about with a solution to a given task, and it requires relevant knowledge. Wallace, in 1962, proposed the incubation theory, which claimed that the subconscious continues to work towards a solution. Seo and Omerod, in 2009, conducted a meta-analysis and found that the subconscious was strong for creative processes with multiple solutions. This was supported by 73% of the studies. Newell and Simon in 1972 had conducted landmark problem solving research in which participants were viewed as information processing systems who had limited ability to process and store solutions. Thus, Individuals depended on task environment interaction with the uh, problem solver and thus this also emphasized the importance of the problem space. So for example, if I was given a math equation, it would be much easier for me to do it with pen and paper as opposed to trying to do it in my head. Thus again, uh, the environment and interaction with it is key in problem solving. Problem solving strategies. There are means and analysis which determines the goal and notes the distance, thus helping to reduce the difference between the goal by setting sub goals. This is also called hill climbing, which is a focus on short term memory goals. And hill climbing, as well as means and analysis, involves progress monitoring, which has slow progress and requires strategy alteration. Planning is the distinction between plan production and execution, and it uses the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. The bat and ball problem. When trying to do math problems solely in our heads, we also tend to use quick thinking heuristics. Newell and Simon, 1972, said that this is due to our limited memory capacity. Analogical problem solving is the comparison of two objects and highlights the similarity of inductive reasoning. Individuals engage in working memory. Cognitive missa is defined as when someone is economic of their time and effort in reasoning and thus has to engage in satisfying in balancing different goals in mind. In summary, we looked at judgment, decision-making, dual process theory, including type 1 and type 2 heuristics by Kahneman and Tversky 1974, representative heuristic Bayer's theorem, base rates, conjunction fallacy, Denae's 2006, availability heuristics, effect heuristics, recognition heuristics, normative decision theory, expected utility theory, descriptive decision theory, prospect theory by Kahneman and Tversky, framing effect, sunk cost effect, multi-attribute utility theory, bounded rationality and satisfying elimination of aspects, naturalistic decision making, NDM, recognition prime decision model, RPD, unconscious thought theory, reasoning Denae's et al. 2005, deductive reasoning, inductive reasoning, belief bias effect, Watson selection task, matching bias, syllogistic reasoning, theories of deductive reasoning, mental models, heuristic analytic model Evans 2006, logical intuitive model Denae's 2012, free storage model, feelings of rightness Thompson 2011, informal logic, normative reasoning, instrumental rationality, insight, problem solving, incubation theory Wallace 1962, means and analysis, hill climbing, progress monitoring, bat and ball problem, analogical problem solving, and cognitive missa. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.